Hi everyone, Dr. Shook here, and this is tip number four of our seven-part video series on how to prevent hair loss with Hashimoto's and hyperthyroidism. So let's get right to it. Tip number four is are you getting enough of these essential vitamins, nutrients, and minerals that you need? So now we can finally start talking about taking a supplement, right? Or taking something or getting nutrients that we may be deficient in. But everything that I've talked about up to this point is absolutely more foundational. So our previous three tips are more foundational than than the, than the vitamins. And this is typically where everyone's starting because this is this is all they know, right? This is what they think. They think, well, my hair's not growing. Um, I need to take you know, maybe I'm deficient in biotin or, or some kind of vitamin. So let me share with, with you some great information on the vitamins that are essential. Now, before we typically do this with someone, you know, one of the things that I like to do is get a nutritional evaluation to determine the exact needs of that unique individual because everyone's going to have a different demand for nutrients and vitamins. So I like to do some testing to give us some quantitative information so that we can make sure we're giving you enough of the, of the nutrients that you need. So here are the, a few of vitamins and minerals that are extremely important for hair growth okay so number one is biotin okay biotin is one that we hear about all the time number two is zinc number three is magnesium number four is a, is a questionable it's it's an important one but I don't recommend supplementing with this unless you're supplementing with selenium and if it's a low dose I don't recommend high dose supplementation of iodine okay iodine is known to be a trigger for Hashimoto's it is something that I think is a very uh, potentially dangerous um, uh, mineral nutrient to supplement with because what you're going to find with iodine is that that it can uh, it's in population studies they found that it that it triggered Hashimoto's or that there was an increased incident rate of Hashimoto's so because they uh, in other countries other than the US the number one cause of hypothyroidism is actually an iodine deficiency so what they do in those countries is they've, they've uh, like China there was a Sri Lanka study as well they're, they're numerous they, they, they iodized the salt or their food supply. They put, so they put iodine into the foods to help with the iodine deficiency. And yet they did see a, a decrease in hypothyroidism, but they saw an increase in autoimmune thyroiditis. So it increased Hashimoto's, right? It was a trigger. So there's some things that, that have to be there, like you don't want to be deficient in selenium when you're taking it. So I don't recommend taking it in any greater dose than you would get in a in a multivitamin and sometimes there, there's some research that actually shows that if you restrict iodine like restrict it that the person that um, you can actually help um, Hashimoto's okay so that it can be beneficial so I just say that iodine is one that's it's required but I'm extremely cautious with it okay the next thing is B12 then you need essential fatty acids so you need things like fish oil evening primrose, those are very important for hair growth, for your hormones um, production, and then you need iron, okay? So those are those are the most critical and uh, important vitamins that I um, that I am, I, I, I know that you need for hair growth that I think are the most important, but remember, if you can't absorb them, if you can't get them to the to the hair follicle, then it, it doesn't matter if you're taking them. So there are some things that are more foundational, and I cover those on the other videos, but I just want to share with you guys the essential vitamins and minerals that you need for hair growth. So that's, this is tip number four on how to prevent um, hair, hair loss with Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism. If you'd like to get our 28-page guidebook where I go into all this in great detail, I talk about the problem, I talk about potential testing that we can do, I go through testing results, and then I show you, I give you some ideas on how you might want to approach it. If, if like if you don't, you know, want to get the testing or you're not to that point, some ways that you might want to want to approach that um, just, just you know, to, to do a trial and error type of approach and see if you can't help yourself, okay? If you're interested in that, just when this video is over, you can click a link. It'll take you to our website where you can learn more about getting the guidebook. I'll tell you, all we do is we ask if you want that guidebook that you just pay a one-time fee of $7 to help us cover the technology costs of making it available to you. The guidebook's 28 pages, and it's a PDF document with probably uh, 15 to 20 different links to research and other things where I expand on these topics and then there are numerous videos that I've created that go and expand on uh, the topics that we're just that, that are uh, I'm reviewing within that guide okay so if you want to you can go check that out if not no problem just hang with us and I'll, I'll share with you uh, the rest of these tips to prevent hair loss with um, Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism I appreciate you guys coming here to learn more about your health and I really hope this helps you out